With the row widget you can display multiple widgets next to each other or horizontally aligned. And if you search for another variant, then you can also choose here the column and then you can place your widgets under each other vertically aligned. In this video we will cover the row and we look at all the different things what you can do with the row. Let's get started inside of the body property of our application and here inside we place a row and a row can contain many widgets. So we have here children property and inside a list and inside of this list we can place separated by comma many widgets. So for example this widget 1, widget 2, widget 3, widget 4 and so on. So you can place many widgets here inside like you want. And we want to replace these widgets now here with a real widget. And the most basic widget to use is for example the text widget. So let's put here a text widget inside. And let's also do it here for the second one. We put here another text widget inside. And also for the third one. And the fourth one we will remove right now. And now you see that we have here the three widgets displayed next to each other. So first we have first, then second and third. And like you can see, there is no space between these widgets and that's what you can also change. So the row has also the property of main axis alignment and this is the alignment on the horizontal axis. And here you can supply many values inside a main axis alignment of space between. And this means that we have here every time some space between our widgets. And here around we have some padding so this is not calculated. So in case I remove here this padding you see that we only have space between these widgets. I will put the padding back but always remember that it is going from this side to this side. Let's place also a new row here inside. And this time we use here the main axis alignment of center. And if I do this, you see that all our elements are aligned here to the center and there is no space between. And by the way, if you want to place here some space between, then you can use something like a size box. And here you can put the pixels like eight pixels between the first and second item. And then if you reload, you see that we have here some spacing and you can also do it with the second one. You can replace here and put a higher value inside. And now we have here 24 spacing between them. So you can combine it with the main axis alignment and also put here some spacing inside. I will quickly remove the spacing. Let's create here a new row. And this time the row has the main axis alignment of start. And now if I hot reload, you see that all elements are aligned here to the left side to the start of our row. We can also place here a new row inside. And this time we give it a main axis alignment of space around. And now if I hot reload, you see that we have here some space around our widgets. And let's quickly remove the padding. And the space around will place it around all widgets also on the left and right side. So it is a little bit different than the first one which you see here at the first line where we had space between. So it will only put here space between these widgets but space around will also put it here at the beginning and also at the end some space. I will put the padding here again inside then it looks like this. And now we create also a last variant and therefore I create here a new row widget and inside we can also place the space evenly attribute. And if we do this, you see that the space is evenly distributed in the whole row. And I will also quickly put the padding again away. And you see that we have here equally space between all the widgets and also on the left and right side. And like you can see, we have here many different variants how you can align your widgets within a row. Let's create another example of a row. And here we have again the text widgets. And like I also showed you before, we can every time place here some size box in between. And I put it inside so that you see that we have here 32 pixels of spacing and eight pixels of spacing between the second and third widget. You can get the source code of this example with the first link in the description and with the second link in the description you can get my Flutter course where I teach you how you can become a more efficient Flutter developer. Now let's also look at some more complex examples. So I put here a new row inside and this time we place here another widget inside. So we want to put here a container inside and with this one you can set a color for a specific width and height. So I put here a height of 
75 pixels inside and a width of 100. And this looks then like this. So we have this red container and you also can place your other containers inside. I give it here a different height every time. And we also can place here another container inside and I give it here again a different height of 100 pixels. And now let's look at the cross alignment because right now we looked at the alignment horizontally, but you can also align your widgets vertically and therefore you can set it here to the cross axis alignment and then we can set it to cross axis alignment start. And if we do this, you see that all widgets here are placed vertically at the start of our row. And we also can create a new row. And this time we put here a cross axis alignment of center inside. And then you see that all the widgets are aligned to the center. And every time the largest widget is determining where the center is. So our row starts here and goes until this location and then every other widget is aligned here to the center. Let's create also another row. And here we put the cross axis alignment to cross axis alignment end. And now if I hot reload, you see that we have here all widgets placed horizontally at the end of our row. And that's also what you can do. And now we create also a more complex example. So we have here a row and here we put a really long, long, long text inside. And if we do this, you see here this yellow black stripped arrow. And this means a row cannot extend here over its content because if I also remove here this padding at the top, then you see that here is no more space on the right side to place this text inside. And to fix this, you can simply wrap this text widget inside of an expanded widget. And now he will automatically care that we get more space and he will simply put this text also to the new line. And now let's also create a last example. So I put here again a new row inside with the text and an expanded. And this time it looks like this. So we have not so much text here inside. So it displays here everything correctly in one line. And now we can also place here next to our text widget, another widget, for example, erase button. And here you can set a text for this button and also an unpressed. So if you press on this button, then it will every time print here in the console pressed. And now you see if we have this expanded here inside for the text, then everything is fine. However, if I simply now remove this expanded widget, and now I hot reload, you see that the text tries to expand everything and we don't see the button anymore. And this is because we have here too much things inside of our row. And therefore we every time need to put here this expanded again inside. And if you do this expanded tag, then the race button, which has not an expanded tag, gets his space, what he needs. And the remaining space goes to the text and he will then have here the space until here. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!